so let's talk about the interface segregation principle. Um, basically, the interface segregation principle in um, software development states that a software module should not be forced to depend on methods or interfaces that it does not use. Um, instead, it should be designed to depend only on the methods and interfaces that it uses or that it needs. Um, in other words, an ISP suggests that an interface should be designed to be specific to the needs of the client so that the client only needs to depend on the methods and properties that it requires. This helps to reduce the overall complexity of the software system and promotes modular and cohesive design. So um, I, 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 I was able to create a, an example that um, kind of uh, illustrated this. So let's look at this right here. Um, we have our, you know, we have our class, our object, dog, right? So, and we have these protocols, right? That incorporate things that um, may or may not apply, right? Now we know dogs don't fly, right? So we don't aren't using we aren't implementing the flyable protocol, and we aren't using the fly method, right? But we do run and we do swim. So we're implementing methods, and the same thing may go in may apply to um, some type of system, some type of backend system, right? You have methods that you take that you're going to use. So for example. Um, again, if we let's go here, um, we have an employee payroll processable, time off requestable, benefits enrollable. He does all of that. And we can go into our system and write functionality that uses these methods and does this process payroll, right? You process his payroll, you, you submit his time off request, you enroll in benefits, right? Right, but um, maybe there are other things, other methods, things that might occur in the system that may not happen. Right, that may not happen. Right, he may not be eligible as an employee. He may not be eligible for deals that maybe some customers get. Right, so um, you might have a protocol that says. Right. protocol, and you can apply this to all of the users, right? So employee may be a type of user, right? But let's just say um, we're going to call this uh, um, <laughs> uh, uh, discount, discountable, okay? We call this is countable. And we get some type of uh, um, get customer discount. Get customer discount. Right? And that will be our method. Get, right? Get customer discount. Well, the reality is this, and that would be, of course, it would be a um, a float, right? However, the problem with this is um, we aren't a customer. We're an employee, right? And though all people in the system may technically be able to get one if we apply this a method to it, there may be, a, there may, you know what I'm saying? There may be a way to get everyone everyone in the system a discount, um, this protocol is not applied to this object. And as a result, you don't get this method. Does that make sense? So this is a way of organizing your, um, your project, keeping functionality kind of separate, you know, making sure everything is very specifically um, set in certain methods and they correlate with certain uh, protocols or interfaces.
And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not, it's not really rocket science. That's just what um, our interface segregation principle is about. Okay, on to the next.